What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk street, we're in everything in between. And today I'm coming at y'all with a Hat Club unboxing. Today is Thursday and Hat Club just released Turf Monsters Part 2. If you haven't already checked it out on the website, go ahead. But you already know why I'm here, to give you a closer look at one of the hats. So if you haven't already seen it, I did kind of like a sneaky, peeky thing on Instagram. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram and check that out. But here it is, the 20th anniversary Diamondbacks joint from Turf Monsters Part 2, which we will take a better look at in a second. First, Turf Monsters, beware. Since the dawn of sports, creatures have been looking and lurking amongst the ball fields and playground, hunting their unsuspecting prey. Protect your ACL this Thursday. Don't say we didn't warn you. At club. So, Turf Monster. I did not know what a Turf Monster was until this collection. I'm not going to lie. If you did, down below in the comment section, sound off, which I have to say is pretty cool. It made for some good hat inspiration. And taking a look at the box, you can see you have the turf all over the box. And then you actually have the eyes. It's on this side. Here it is. The eyes of the Turf Monster kind of just lurking and waiting. But let's get into the hat because I know that's what y'all are all waiting for. So, 20th anniversary Diamondbacks, like I said previously. This hat is navy. It's like a dark navy color. You have the diamondback snake head on the front. It's a green snake head, like a white ball in its mouth. And you have the eyes, which are sun activated or UV activated threading. We'll check that out a little bit later. And a purple for the outline of the snake head and the tongue. 20th anniversary side patch. And you can see some of those same colors that are used in the front logo. You have the green, the purple, and there's also the addition of like a gold. It's not metallic, but it is kind of like a yellow gold color in there. For one of the outlines, flat batterment on the back. You have that gold color once again, green on one side, purple on the opposite side, and white in the middle. Black sweatband with the Hat Club branding, and let's get into it, a suede gray UV. Now, at first I was like, you can't go wrong with gray and navy. That's a solid color combination, but no, no, no. They didn't stop there. They elevated the materials and hit us with the suede gray UV. And I was like, that's different. I like it. It's definitely one of those hat collector details. The average person might not notice it, but for me as a hat collector, I appreciate the elevation of materials and the thinking outside of the box. So I'm down with the suede UV. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Sound off in the comment section. Definitely let me know if you picked up anything from Turf Monsters Part 2, because that is available when you're watching this video. Go check out the Hat Club website. Let me know if you picked anything up. And of course, y'all already know the vibes. I got the steamer going already. So I'm going to steam this joint, curve it, and I'm going to be back. Just like that, I am back. The hat is steamed and curved. I stuck to my usual method, the steamer and water bottle method that I use every day to curve my fitted hats, and it worked just fine. I was a little nervous about how the steamer would interact with the suede UV, as I'm sure a lot of y'all are probably asking the same question, and it was perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues. I steamed the top part of the visor, the bottom part of the visor. It was all good. The suede didn't have any issues, any you know unusual reactions, I guess you could say. It's perfect, and it curved up perfectly. So here it is. I'm gonna give y'all one more look at it. And then we're going to get into the UV details that I mentioned earlier. So I want to talk about those right quick. It is very subtle on this hat. It's not like the Hat Club Northern Lights pack that they just did, where there was a lot more of that UV threading, especially on this hat in particular. It is just the eyes. So just the eyes on the snake head turn pink when it is out in sunlight. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the clip that I took when I took the hat outside just now so y'all can see what exactly that looks like in sunlight. So I went ahead and actually threw the hat on so y'all can see what it looks like and what it's given. I like the hat and I will say having this hat on right now, you know, freshly steamed, curved, I haven't done anything else to it. It is very snug. It's noticeably snug. Is it snug enough or tight enough to where I want to size up? No, I personally would not size up. I would stick to my regular size because the hat is not tight. It's just noticeably a little bit snugger than some of my other fitted hats, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna leave lines on my head. It doesn't feel like it's gonna give me a headache with prolonged wear. I would be able to tell those things off rip if it was too tight 
And I don't even really know if it's because of the suede UV, you know, the switching materials. It could just be a sizing and consistency, but I know some of y'all are gonna ask if, you know, the change in material affects sizing, I would stick true to size, that's my opinion. Of course, I'm gonna give y'all my top three. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the screen right now. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out tomorrow.